We got to talk about these AEW ratings because that's all everybody. And you know, oh god, well, do no, we really? Yeah, we do. <laughs> but what's funny about it is, and this is not going to happen, but I would, I would, I would laugh uproariously if the chart finally came out and despite all of the gloom and doom, they were like number one on cable. I don't think it's going to happen. But you know why I don't know? Because we still don't have a chart. It's 24 hours after the chart was supposed to be out, and these people can't get a chart out for Wednesday. Dude, you guys listen to this show for, we've been on the air, uh, starting in 1999 with the Yada, and then 2001-ish, we moved to Sports Byline. We've been on Byline since 2001, Mightier 1090, all these other American Forces Network, everything like that. The worst show you've ever heard here, it is a level of competence greater than that of the Nielsen Company, which does television ratings. Why can't we get a chart 24 hours later? What's happening here? So I have no idea how AEW did in terms of, were they number one? Were they number 80? Were they number 22? Like, I have no idea. There's no chart. We just can't find it. Now... You think it's time maybe to revamp the whole system? Because as somebody that studied pay-per-view buys, it's always annoyed me greatly that, well, we don't know the number. Why? You have converter set boxes. You have all these sorts of ways to instantly charge somebody for this. You know exactly how many people are ordering at a time, for heaven's sake. I mean, you can do targeted advertising through everything, but yet we can't get numbers 24 hours later, let alone immediately, which they probably almost should be at this point. All right, so this is what we know, everybody. These are the facts that we know. The show did 936,000 viewers and a 0.31 in 18 to 49. It is the lowest 18 to 49 that AEW has ever done for an unopposed show. The 18 to 34 demo, however, for whatever reason, did very well and did better than the Blood and Guts show. The show overall, here's the story with the show. It wasn't like everybody that watched the show last week t- tuned into the beginning and they didn't like the show and so they, they tuned out. The The number of people that tuned into the beginning, I mean, it was relatively stable the entire night. So the people that tuned into the beginning liked the show and they watched the entire show. And in fact, uh, as has been the case for a long time now, uh, young Darby Allen, this guy is a big time ratings mover. And I'm not sure, but he may be he may be the biggest ratings mover that they've got. If not, he's way up there. Uh, on this particular show, his uh, TV title match did 969,000 viewers, 448,000 in 18 to 49. It was the most watched thing on the show in total viewers 18 to 49 and 35 to 49. Now, this is not a... Uh, there's not a hard and fast rule, but I mean, you can watch it on Raw every single week. A bunch of people tune into the beginning, and then they fall off as the show goes on. Less people watch as the show goes on. It's happened with NXT. It's happened with AEW. SmackDown is a little bit more stable on Friday night, but it is, it is I, I guess rare would be the right term. It is rare in 2021 for your main event to be the highest rated, most watched thing on the show, unless it's something that's been hyped up for a long time, uh, big time blood and gut style match, that sort of thing. But Darby consistently, if he is in the main event, it's like doing one of the better numbers or the best number on the show. So they got something with this Darby fella. But as noted, the uh, story of the show is that it did not start strong. It started with 938,000 viewers and essentially... Uh, small rises, small dips, small rises, small dips, all the way through until the end of the show when it went up for Darby, and that was the story. So where those 100,000 viewers were this week, I don't know. Uh, was it a great number? No. Was it a reason to panic? No. Is everybody panicking anyway? Yes. So have fun, and then we'll see how the show does next week. That's my speech on the numbers. Not really much to add to that. Yeah, obviously it would have you know it would have been better off for everybody involved if it was over nine fifty for sure. But uh, yeah, I guess until we see the chart and we see the demos of everybody else, I'm not sure exactly where those people went or what exactly went on. But no, the sky is not falling if you're if you're AEW or if you're somebody in NXT or WWE looking to to dunk on AEW. I don't know if this is really the one to do it with. I'd hold that. Card it would in your be pocket. nice to have a chart. It would. It really would. 
Get that chart to me. Somebody. Some graphs on there, too. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.